Check, check, one, two, check, check, one, two. Everybody, welcome to the stream here. All right, so we should be well in order. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm doing this stream. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the M3D Crane Printer Series, not just the quad. Um, we actually have a quad that we pre-ordered through this Fit for Launch site, and we're going to go into what's going on here because there's been a lot. And I've just spent the last hour and a half, almost two hours, digging through uh, their Discord channels, um, their website, updates to their sites, archives on the internet. Um, there's a lot of problems here, and I wanted to make the community aware of the issues that we see going on here. Um, considering uh, I don't, I just want to preface this that I do not think you guys should ever back or um do anything that is kickstarter like meaning crowdfunding uh there's just too many risks this is the second time in my life i've done this and two out of two times i've gotten nothing so um my first experience with the crowdfunding was the andromium uh laptop thing where you could basically use your phone as a computer um, that didn't ship until this year and I had backed that two years ago and luckily I was able to get my money back. Um, in this case, I've got almost $600 tied up into this machine with the batch one fee of $549 and then the $40 shipping. So, um, but if I want to get the now eager enthusiast version, which was not available in May when we ordered the first batch, they had different batches, batches one through four, and then the market ready version. So batch one was supposed to be the first batch to ship out. Well, now M3D's pulled a bait and switch, and now they have the eager enthusiast one, which is $1,000. So if I want to give them $400 more, I might get bumped up in the queue to get my printer when the batch that I had ordered from was supposed to be the first batch so this is just the tip of the iceberg of the problems with this whole campaign so i got some notes here on my screen and we're going to get into it because there's a lot of shady stuff going on with this company um, i don't know what their problem is uh, but there's a lot of them changing and going back on what they had promised people that pre-ordered the machine um, they're you know changing prices around they're changing their website around um, so let's uh let's get it right into it so we're going to switch over here to my monitor we're going to be sharing a lot of screens here so i've got as you can see a bunch of pages up here um including let's let's start with this and i'm going to make these bigger so um printm3d.com is m3d's main website printm3d and you can see here it's all protected registration um it's registered through namecheap and same thing as fit for launch. So now this led me to think, okay, are these the same company? Um, cause it's weird. I thought fit for launch. Well, let's go to their website, fit for launch.com. I thought it was just an independent site that does crowdfunding. There's an alternative to Kickstarter. So you you scroll through a page and you see the future of crowdfunding is in trust. Every product is reviewed by a panel of business experts. Innovative options to offer new launch product, offer to launch new products, such as the deliver guarantee. Only companies that fit, fit, sorry, only companies that meet our requirements are fit for launch. So, um, I'm going through here and you can see there's a lot of their products on the page, the pro mega, the, which people still haven't received. You can go in their discord channel, uh, which I am, I am in right here. 
Um, you can see their M3D community, and there's people that still haven't got that printer that was a pre-order from like two years ago. Um, and then their Quad Fusion print head and their Chinese version of the Duet boards. Um, and then they have here how it works, creators and backers. So if I go to creators here, it just tells you more stuff like, you know, they want a guarantee and how you can sign up. Okay, that's kind of cool. So that gives me confidence. Uh, for backers, okay, let's see. As a backer here, product focus, delivery guarantee, all this other stuff. Cool. So this means I'm actually going to get my product. Um, you know, this is great. Now, when I was digging to see if for so somehow M3D was affiliated with Fit for Launch, um, I did not notice this link here that says how it works. So I click here and find out, oh, look at this. Fit for Launch It was founded by Michael Armani who had his first large sales success. I doubt I would call it that, considering they took forever to ship once again, um, after co-founding M3D. Now, I was like, okay, this is weird. I feel like I would have noticed this. So I went to the Internet Wayback Machine to check, to check some snapshots. So I'm going to go ahead and close these out and show you guys here. So I'm going to hit Enter um, so we can go ahead and refresh this. And we can look at the snapshots. So I'm going to go to these snapshots here from January. And this was long before the crane ever came out. So you can see here the snap makers on here, uh, the pro mega, this other weird project, and they have a, how it works down here. So that's same link. Okay. So I ordered mine in May and this is another snapshot from January and you can see it looks pretty much the same. So I ordered in May. So, Oh, there's a snapshot here. Let's, let's just for fun, let's open a snapshot for March 21st, 4th, and see how the printer is. So no crane or anything on here. So the Pro Mega, um, they have the how it works at the bottom here. And obviously the page is a little broken because this is an archive. Now, fast forward to April, where there's another snapshot taken. Um, like, it's, it's moved to the bottom again. So I didn't notice this how it works thing. Because I'll tell you right now, if I would have noticed that and saw that it was M3D running a crowdfunding site to make it look like it's a, just another crowdfunding site, because it's not immediately clear um, unless you go digging. So unless you click how it works and stuff, which I didn't do, you're going to come here. You're going to go, oh, let's uh, check out this printer here and let's let's get it pre-ordered. So I did not notice that they had that disclosed on the website. Um, I had, before I even found this, I actually went and started doing more digging. I looked up M3D's trademark here and noticed that um, it's filed by this Michael Foisik. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, and then the fit for launch, which was abandoned, was also registered by the same attorney. So they use the same attorney for both of these. Um, and they're both based out of Maryland. Um, another thing is, if you go here, um, and see they're in Fulton MD and this is my, this is my order here. I'm going to close that out cause it's got personal info, but I mean, my address and stuff is on our site, so I guess it doesn't matter. So, um, the thing is, if you go to M3D, you can see again here, Michael Armani. So it's the same guy running the same company and they're in Fulton, Maryland. So, and this was before I noticed that page. I just wanted to show it since I did the research here. So they're both registered at this 11850 address. And you can see M3D here in Suite N. Um, there's a bunch of other companies. So this is just an office park here. If we go here, you can see just an office park. So they're both M3D and Fit for Launch are the same exact people. Um, you know, and like I said, I did not notice the whole... Uh, how it works thing with him, but I was looking, okay, how are, how are these two companies associated? They're the, they're the same guy. Um, my friend Matt found this here, um, this uh, Forbes article talking about he's launching his Fit for Launch uh, website here. So it's all the same company. Fit for Launch and M3D are owned by the same people. So they create this other company to give you faith in backing their pre-orders when it's really just them. There's, there's no difference. Fit for launch is M3D. M3D is fit for launch. It's the same exact people. And this is very, very sketchy in my opinion. Um, it's, 
you know, it's it's buried. There are, nowhere on here does it say, or when you go to the product page, that Fit for Launch is Crane. It just looks like another crowdfunding site that they're using. Um, and that's it. So you can see here now, when I pre-ordered, there was the Market Ready Batch, and there was multiple selections for batches. You can select, select batches uh, four, three, two, and one. One being the first one to ship, along with the Market Ready Batch. So... Basically, what happens is uh, now if I want my printer in the original time frame, um, I'm going to have to pay $1,000 instead of this almost 600 that I've already spent. Eager Enthusiast was not an option when I put my order in back in May. There's people in the Discord that are upset about this as well. So they basically did a bait and switch. They said, you, here, if you, if you get in batch one, you are the first people to get this printer. And then they go, ah, we need more money. So let's just screw all the people that already ordered the other batches and put another one out at a more expensive rate. Because when I ordered the quad, batch one was the most expensive option. Okay. Now they have an even more expensive option that is superseding the batch one. So it's, it's, it's complete BS. I'm going to try not to swear in this video, but this is complete absolute bs i have i will never give m3d another dime i had bought the printer because i thought it'd be a cool printer to show off on the channel but i will not even if we somehow get it it's not getting a single second of airtime on here i'm going to try to get it canceled i don't want to have anything to do with it at this point uh, because this is extremely extremely shady that they tell everybody if you get batch one and pay us more back in May is when I ordered mine, that you're going to be the first batch. And now they're doing this bait and switch crap. And here's the most frustrating part. Okay. So this is the fit for launch site, which is a crowdfunding site. Also run again, if you're just joining us, fit for launch is a crowdfunding site that M3D owners own. It's the same people fit for launch is M3D. They're the same people running the show. So all these guarantees and stuff they have honestly mean jack. They don't mean anything because it's the same company. You've got people that bought their Pro Mega that still have yet to receive their order as of just December 2018 from a two-year-old pre-order. Um, and this is, there's more. There's more to this. There's, there's more, okay? This is just me getting started on this because I am so upset about this that all this stuff has been baited and switched on all these people. Um, it's insane. Um, I, it took a printer that I was very excited about and completely squashed everything. It's, I, I, like I said, I, I don't even want the machine anymore at this point. I don't want to see it at my house. I'm not going to show it on the channel um, because what they've done to all their backers is absolutely wrong. You can't tell everybody that if you pay the, if you get the highest priced one and you are the first ones to get it and then switch it out after everybody's already paid you, you can't do that. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of consumer protection laws that they're violating at this point, but I'm not a lawyer, so I can't quote what that is. But I know if you guys, if I, if I told you guys, I've got a, you know, like we have the artillery coming out. If I told you guys, uh, here, you can pre-order the artillery and you can get the first batch for $900. But if you're willing to wait a couple months, um, I'll give it to you for $800. But then I go, oh crap, I'm running out of money. I'm going to put a one out that's before the first people that was my batch one. I'm going to call it something else and charge more. And that's going to ship before everybody else. How would that make you guys feel? Because I know it, it's pissing me off. Um, and like I said, I, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure there's some sort of consumer protection laws in place to prevent this kind of stuff. It's a bait and switch is what it feels like. Um, so let me pull up, uh, let me, let me pull up. I'm just going to do a search for batch one. Um, cause there were people in there. Oh, there were people in there saying, um, they selected batch one. Um, let's see here. Cause there was a guy that was talking about batch one and the eager enthusiasts. And yeah, 
Uh, there's multiple people here. So if you go to their Discord, search Batch 1, you can get a bunch of search results. Um, and there's other people that are very upset um, about getting superseded because they were supposed to be among the first people to get this machine, which is why we all paid more than the other batches. So, yeah, there's all these people here. Monday, I'm batch one. I haven't got a shipping email yet. Um, was that verified? You, they told you in a few weeks. Um, yeah, they told me my stuff will be shipped at the end of December, last Monday. Uh, we'll see if that actually happens. Here's another one. I was told by the end of November I should have the quad, number 4496, batch one. I'm still waiting. He posted this last Sunday. Um, yeah, everybody's still waiting. The only people that have this machine are M3D employees, and they've posted pictures in the groups, which we're going to go over, too, because that machine has now changed from what they advertise. So, And even you can see in the renders here. So notice the machine has, um, let's just go through here, they show it here with, you know, this style bracket here on the renders. Um, and even I've got, there's an actual picture of it, but you see this, the bracket style, the Bowden facing forward um, for the Bowden model, this nice little side-by-side -side LCD. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of renders of it. This is just on the fit for launch site, but we're going to go, let's, let's go here. So we've covered this stuff. I'm going to cover one other thing here. So if you go to M3D's own website, um, you can actually buy the printer that I'm waiting on. Um, you can hear, here's a, here's a crane quad. This one ships in spring 2019. Okay. Or I can click add to cart and buy it now. Why? So here I'll change, like I can even change the quantity. I can literally check out right now and buy the printer that I was promised for a thousand dollars. I can literally buy it. And they will say, here, you can see right here, check out the new Crane Quad 3D printer. And they have a link here that takes you to the fit for launch. But if you stay on their site here, if you close this little banner and go back to their site, you can just go ahead and order. And it says here, ships by Christmas. So you're going to get this by Christmas if you pay them $1,000. Yet I'm sitting here along with all these other people with no printer still. So... There's, there's, let's recap this. So fit for launch is owned by M3D. It's not made very clear unless you go to this very specific site or like I did before I found this page, um, is, uh, <laughs> what I did before I found this page was I went and looked up their legal registration, their addresses and everything and everything matched. Um, so it's, it's kind of shady. I feel like there should be a bigger disclaimer on here saying that fit for launch uh, aside from this page, you can get to by going all the way to the bottom. Um, or you have to click down on learn more. And this, uh, yeah, this takes you to the same page. So I didn't even notice that. Um, it looks like it's just another crowdfunding site made by people that were tired of Kickstarter and people getting screwed over when it's just M3D. It's the same thing. Like, they make it sound awesome here. Exclusive companies that pass our due diligence. Of course M3D is going to pass your your strict guidelines because you own the freaking company. You own the same company. This is so sketchy. Um, I, it's, it's crazy. So let's, let's go here. So th there's no clear disclosure about that unless you go to that one page. Um, I didn't notice it when I pre-ordered. I wonder how many other people didn't notice that this is the same damn company. Um, so the way they present it makes it seem like it's, it's not them. Um, and it makes it seem like, you know, it has, there, there's, there's this rigorous process to get a product featured on this site. Well, their stuff's going to get featured because it's their stuff and they own fit for launch. Um, all right. So the last thing here. I want to talk about is these are pictures I pulled from the discord server. Now this printer looks very, very familiar. I don't know if it looks very familiar to you guys down to the, the bolts here for the, for the filament holder. Um, this janky stuck on label that someone probably printed at home. Um, this oddly crappy looking plastic extruder and the end stop switches and the Z plug here. With the little yellow marker um, that says Z on it. Where does that look familiar? I can't. I just can't. Oh, it looks like my Ender 3. 
Huh. The bed looks the same. Let's see here. Here's another picture. Here's the hot end. Where do we recognize those really crappy PTFE tube connectors from? The Creality Machines. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Oh, I did not mean to move that. Let me move that back. So here's another one. Here's a good, here's a good picture of it. Where does all this sleeving and the same, like the, even down to the notches in the motor, I sell Creality extruder motors. This is a Creality extruder motor. I would bet $5,000 on it that this machine is now being made by Creality. Now here's the problem. Let me find the picture here. I have it open. Where is it? Right here. This is the printer they were showing everybody. Okay. Notice the different end stop switches completely on the Z and the X and even the T brackets. They're completely different. The hot end assembly is completely different. Now, yes, they can say this is a prototype. Okay. There's the LCD that's in the renders. Okay. So this, here's the Bowden coming out the front, which I kind of like. But now, they're literally just, it's a Creality machine with a duet board. I, I would put money on it that Creality is making this stuff for them. Here's the only picture I found of an actual crane quad with the same homemade looking stick on badge. This is the same cap, same end stop switch. I am intimately familiar with Creality's machines. I know what their machines look like. I know what the parts look like. I know what the brackets look like. This is a, these are the same parts that Creality puts on their machines. This bed design, while you guys, unless you have a CRX, may not look familiar, but this is the same kind of bed design that the CRX uses. Okay? Look at the LCD screen now. We are now using a standard 12864 LCD screen. Okay? Where's the, horse, where's the nicer compact one that they were teasing? And that's in all the renders. Um, let's go here. If this doesn't convince you that this is a Creality machine, this image should. This is a picture from the Discord, and you can see here. Now, let me go over all the little details here. We have a solid coupler, like on the Ender 3. We have the same strain relief that Creality ships with all the machines, okay? And th there's more. This one little picture tells us a lot. Here, again, here's the end stop switch, Okay with the same yellow marking. I would put a ton of money on the line that this machine is being built by Creality for M3D. I know that their duet boards are being made in China, which is fine, but this is a Creality end stop switch here, guys, okay? This is the same exact end stop switch Creality uses. This is the same spool holder. This is the same strain relief. This is the same Z motor coupler, okay? This is basically an Ender 3 with a duet board in it. That's it. And this is the Bowden version. And the quad one is literally just the same machine with this quad print head, which as far as I know, they did design. So this is basically a, a Creality machine. Um, and for some reason, they still can't ship them. This is the same, and here's another thing. It's just more and more. Every time I look at the pictures, this clear plastic cover, okay? This is what Creality ships with the Ender 3s now with their build mat attached. This is the same plastic cover, okay? I would put money on it that these are being made now by Creality, and they're just putting in all the electronics, okay? Here's another shot of the hot end assembly. This is a Creality hot end. Okay, this is a Creality bracket. This is a Creality X tensioner. Okay, here is, here's, here's even more proof. Okay, this is what one of the employees posted of his crane quad. This is a freaking Ender 3. Look at the PSU cover over here. Okay, just, just look at this. This is an Ender 3. Look at how the Y motor is mounted. This is an Ender 3. Okay. I don't even know if they have printers to actually ship. This is obviously a prototype because you can see they did all the wiring here. Um, th they did all the wiring here for the hot end, okay? But they're mis they misrepresented the printer 
to people, okay? They had pictures of this this entirely different machine that appeared to be all custom made, okay? And now we're getting mark we're getting basically creality printers at a huge markup with a Chinese duet board. And we still don't even have the printers. So we went from this okay to this which is a Creality machine. This is a completely different printer. This is what they showed in all the renders. This is what they showed in all their marketing stuff. And now if you go in their Discord where people actually have them, you're getting rebadged Creality machines with duet boards. It's that simple. Um, I already have a bunch of Creality machines. If I wanted another Creality machine, I would have bought another Creality machine. If I would have known they were using Creality machines as the baseline, I would have just spent less money and bought just the quad printhead because they do sell that. So, <laughs> can, can you guys see why this is very upsetting? So, I, you know, we're sitting here holding out. It's supposed to be a brand new machine. And what we're ending up with is basically an Ender 3 with a duet board with a quad printhead slapped onto it. When they sell the printhead, completely separate. Completely separate. I could go buy the quad printhead and the board separately. Here's the Duet 2, okay? Here's a quad print head. I could have just bought the Duet 2 for 119 bucks, and I could have bought the quad print head for $85, okay? Like <laughs> it's it's crazy. I mean, they have they have a whole bundle here too with the head and all this other stuff. It's it's just really upsetting you know they touted this picture which was a custom made system and now we're getting rebranded creality machines with electronic swap and if you got the quad or the dual a different print head but if you buy their bowden system you're basically getting an ender 3 with a duet in it which in my opinion doesn't matter you're you're not going to get much better print quality if any out of a 32-bit platform for a single head Cartesian machine. The main reason to go with a duet board is for doing quad colors because you have all those extra outputs. Um, let me know what you guys think. Am I completely out of line here? I, I don't feel like I am. I feel like I got sold one thing and I was going to say I got another, but I haven't even got that. So I have nothing the original date was August. When I put my order in, they said that the batch one would be shipping out in August. Then it got pushed back to September. Then it got pushed back to October. And there hasn't been an update from them since. Um, so don't ever buy M3D. Don't ever support anything M3D. Their M3D Micro is a terrible machine. Absolutely terrible machine. Uh, especially for $300. Um, you can catch it on sale for $200, but they're terrible machines. Um, but they push, they spend so much money on marketing. And that's another thing. If you go through the Discord server, they're talking about they're having issues because they spent more on marketing that they brought in through the pre-orders. So they basically, sounds like they burned up all of their funds, not ordering the machines, but marketing machines they don't even have to sell. So... <laughs> I'm sure there's more going on here. Um, this is all that I, this is what I was able to come up with in about two hours of poking through all this stuff, um, which is insane. Uh, I was going to show you guys something else here regarding this, but I, I lost my train of thought, but it was something to do with their website and the, uh, oh, I was going to show you guys the, let me switch back over here. I was going to show you guys here the updates they posted. So if you go here, you go to updates here. Their last update was on November 8th. So we already paid our shipping and you got checkout questions and other stuff here. There's just, uh, it says we are now shipping eager enthusiasts, which again did not exist when I became a batch one supporter. So it sounds like all the batch one people are getting shafted for these people that came in at the last minute because they were okay with paying a thousand dollars for the machine. Um, and it seems like some of them haven't even got it. I haven't seen any reviews for this machine. I haven't seen any pictures in their discord other than people that work for M3D. 
So they got some pictures here. It looks like it's working okay. The print quality is meh. Um, you know, here, here's user prints. Um, let me see here. Where was they last? So they got all these pictures here. And I didn't even look closely at these. I'm sure I'd find more dead giveaways on who's making this machine, but I would put money on it that they're working with Creality on it. Um, that's just me. And you can see here, they're all, you know, they're all the same LCDs. They got pictures of all these. These are just the Bowden machines. Um, here's our quad print head. But, you know, these are not, this is not the same machine that was shown when we ordered this. Um, it's, it's just not. And I can tell this is a Creality machine too, just by the stepper motor height even. It's, it's a Creality printer. It's a Creality printer with some upgraded electronics that, unless you're doing quad colors, really don't matter. Um, you know, and a rebadge. So here, here's what I was going here. So the shipping timeline. So they posted this. Let's see here. To do. Oh, this was in the November update. Unless I somehow skipped an update. I don't think I did. Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, I did. So September 18th, they posted that this little timeline here, because when I asked them what was going on, they they linked me to this article here. So September, Bowden Batch 1 was supposed to start shipping. October, Quad Batch 1, Dual Batch 1, and Bowden Batch 2 was supposed to ship. Do you notice how nowhere on this timeline image is Eager Enthusiast mentioned? Nowhere at all. It didn't exist. So basically everybody that backed them thinking they were going to get the printer first got shafted. Like I'm, I'm honestly just going to open a chargeback. I'm going to open a chargeback and get my money back and never give this company another dime. You know, I see nothing in here about eager enthusiasts. I'm, I'm looking. Oh, sorry. So yeah, um, that's M3D Crane. Um, it's a, it's an Ender 3 with uh, a different board in it. If you get the Bowden. If you get the Dual or a Quad, it's an Ender 3 with a different board and different print head. Nothing special at all. Like, you know, another thing I noticed too. Yeah, there's no, there's no eager enthusiast mentioned anywhere here. Um, the batch one was supposed to ship. That's the batch I'm in. Um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's annoying. Oh, shoot. Oh, and here's a, here's another thing too. Uh, this is a dead giveaway too on who's making it. Um, same crappy Chinese power supplies that every other company uses. Same exact. Now I'm going to open this and zoom this in so you guys can see. Because like I said, I'm very intimately familiar with all of Creality's parts. And this label here, this black label with this red and blue logo, this is the same off-brand power supply Creality uses. Um, and who knows, maybe they're not even making these here or doing assembly here. Because here's the thing, they're using, these are the AC mains inputs, and they're using red, black, and the green, yellow for ground. Green, yellow for ground is correct. Red and black, however, are not. That's used for DC. You should have white and black for your line in neutral, not black and red. So my next question is, okay, where, where are we actually making these? Are you guys just literally working with a company in China and they're cranking them out? I, I don't know. Like it's, it's hard to tell what's going on with this company because there's been like radio silence. No one's replying in the discord except for some poor employees that happen to be in there that, you know, are just trying to keep people at bay with the info they have. Um, I'm just looking at this image to see uh, if there's anything that, that gives it away as to the location. I mean, like electrical outlets. Um, is there anything here you guys see that could give it away as to its physical location? Because I don't see any like electrical outlets. I see some. May, I may maybe see one here. Let's see. Unless that's data. 
I can't tell what kind of outlets those are. Those are definitely electrical outlets, but I can't I can't tell what those are from this low res picture. You know, I don't see any markings on anything else. <sighs> oh god, I moved my I moved my monitor. So anyways, uh in short, don't don't buy M3D. Um it's it's nuts. I I won't I'm going to I'm going to try and get my money back um because I don't even want the machine at this point. It's there's just especially after I went digging here, I should you know, <laughs> I had no idea that eager enthusiast was added after the fact to try to bring in more money. Um, and that's now shipping before batch one. Um, yeah, I don't see any exit signs here. I mean, I guess I could go through, we could, we could check out their Twitter and see, let's see what's on their Twitter here. I don't know if they've posted anything that could incriminate. I mean, like, look at this. They just posted this 10 hours ago. This is 100% a render, and it's not even the same Tim printer. It's still the original version that isn't a Creality machine. Um, like, come on, guys. Be consistent in your branding. Like, and in your marketing materials. I just try to find... Uh. You know, here's some other pictures here. So here we go. You know, those other pictures I shown, these were, you know, these were posted in the Discord, which they also posted on their, um, also posted on their Twitter here. So, I'm just trying to see if I can find something. I mean, here, they posted a picture here. Very low resolution here. This just screams Creality Machine. <laughs> so they got their, their duet board in there. Like, this is a Creality Extruder. Do you see the, the crappy Creality Extruder? It's a Creality Extruder. And I don't see anything in this this video here. Is there like a... I don't know if there's like a location stamp that they put in there. Probably not. Um... Let's see here. And these are posted back in August. Let's see here. Oh, maybe this is in the U.S. Look at the exit signs. So, maybe they are actually building them in the U.S., which would be good. Hopefully, decent QC then. But these are these are Creality hot ends. <laughs> I don't know why they have them all strung out like that. You would think they would be getting them assembled, but well, it's it's aggravating. I think uh, I think I've said all I need to say on the matter. Um, just don't do it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I well, I guess you're right. China could have. Uh, Similar exit signs. Let's see here. Uh, let me see. Uh, looks like U.S. plates. Yeah, this is probably their office. This looks like the office buildings in the overhead Google Street View that I pulled up. Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. It's 2 a.m. and I haven't slept much. I just wanted to check the status on my order of this printer and then went down this rabbit hole of trying to figure out what the hell's going on. So here we are. I'm just seeing if there's anything else interesting. But, you know, it's like I said, it's just there's just a lot of stuff here that I'm not liking. You know, the switching up of what model they're using from, you know, the custom one they had for their prototype to now this is just basically a upgraded creality machine which i could have done myself and had here in my possession already i could have just bought the quad print head for 100 bucks and used the machine i already have 
instead of another machine. I bought it because I thought, based on the renders, based on the photos, that this was a completely different printer than what is on the market. Not just a, you know, a custom, you know, a customized Creality machine. Like, advertise what you're going to actually sell. Like, it's it sucks. Because I was really excited about this machine, and now I'm not. So, I'm just still scrolling through their... Oh, just still scrolling through their Twitter. You know, if I would have known, like I said, if I would have known that it, this was basically just a souped up Ender 3 with a different board and different print head, I would have just bought the board and the print head. I already have an Ender 3. I already have multiple machines I could have put these on that are Creality machines that have the same exact stuff on them. I don't need another Ender 3, uh, which is basically what I'm getting. So... Anyways, uh, do you guys have any other questions for me? Is there anything that you guys know about this? Did you guys back it? Um, for those of you watching the restream, did you back it? Comment below. Let me know what you think about all this because this entire thing has left a very poor taste in my mouth. Um, and I, like I said, I don't want. I'm not going to feature it on the channel. Um, just based on the fact that they pulled the whole eager enthusiast stuff in front of the batch one people. Um, it, that that alone would have been enough but all this other stuff is just it, it's just too irritating for me to even think about putting this machine on our channel um their m3d micro was a terrible printer it was it was cheaply built it was overpriced um it, it had tons of problems that was my first experience with 3d printing and it almost got me to not be into 3d printing i ended up buying a net a8 and the a net a8 was a better printer than the m3d micro so i don't know why i thought it would be a good idea to give these guys a shot but i did and uh <laughs> it's just gonna be a pain so after i get off this stream i'm gonna go ahead and open credit card chargebacks uh or actually i'm not gonna be that guy right away i'm gonna email them tell them to cancel my order and issue me a refund and if they don't then i'm just going to go through a I, I'm just going to go through and do a chargeback if they won't refund me because I don't want the machine at this point. I would have rather bought the head and the board and put it on a machine I already own um, because I basically have an, I have an Ender 3 here and it's basically the same machine, just pre-upgraded, which is fine, but that's not what they advertised. They advertised and showed pictures of a completely custom machine. And yeah. That's it. So unless you guys have something else to chime in about, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, thanks for watching and happy printing. <laughs> if you have your printers, that is, if you didn't order M3D.